hey guys welcome back again so hear me out before you start cutting out your fabric because i made a mistake i used a neck width of three inches instead of 2.5 inches i'm on size eight so if you're size six and eight use neck width of 2.5 inches so that you will not end up having this wide neck region and um for size 10 and above use neck width of three inches okay maximum three inches so okay let's begin so on the screen are the question and answer you want to know concerned about the fabric and the yardage okay so i use uh two and a half yard of fabric for my own size i use two and a half yard of fabric okay so this is the fabric i'm using and it's crepe it's stretchable unfortunately i didn't know the the percentage of the stretch okay so you want to have a stretch stretchable fabric even non-stretchable material also can also work okay so um arranging my pieces now so that i can start by cutting it so that we can start joining them together okay so my pieces i'm going to be cutting them into four folds so this is the back pattern i'm working with and this uh, pattern i'm going to be cutting it both the front uh, the main piece and the lining as you can see is all arranged on the table okay so this is my back pattern one so and this one i'm going to be cutting it uh times four so that i can take out the main piece and the lining and don't forget to add your joining allowance 0 0.5 inch joining allowance like i say earlier on the pattern drafting tutorial okay so this is the second piece i'm also going to pin it right this part so that i can when i'm done from this very one here then i will cut it okay so this material actually stressed me a lot because um it was like moving around and all of that so i have to take so much time on this so when you're working on yours take take your time don't rush it okay this is your dress you are not doing it for anybody doing it for yourself so take your time for you to get a good result okay so um i'm cutting out the back piece first so i'm going to be also repeat the same thing for the front so um like i said this is the back this is the back is ready so here is the front piece i went ahead to mark it trace the line into my pieces because placing it together with the pattern it wasn't giving me the result i was looking for the material was not stable so i have to trace it to the fabric then cut it this way you're seeing okay so this is the front pattern and i'm cutting both the main piece and the lining together okay and don't forget to add your joining allowance is very very important so once i'm done so this is my back sorry this is my front okay i'm assembling showing you how you're going to assemble it okay so this is my front piece and uh yeah so when you're going to be joining it this is how you're going to assemble them together okay make sure you add your joining allowance please don't forget this okay so this is the front piece the main piece and the lining okay so so yeah so let's work on the back first okay i'm going to be separating the back so that i can take out my lining like i said it has lining so i'm going to be working on the lining but before then i need to assemble them so that you can know how you are going to join yours when you are going to work on your own okay so every pieces it has two two pieces okay that means the the main piece and the lining so I'm going to start by working with the main uh, no the lining okay the lining you need to join your lining it's only the front that you need to just uh allow it be for now until you prepare your your ruffles okay but for the lining you need to join the boot lining like this i'm going to be doing the same thing to the front just the way i'm doing to the back okay so um let me be working with the front so i still need to separate it just the way i did for the back okay i need to separate it like this assembly like that i'm going to be taking out the 
main piece outside and keep it outside then uh, I will be pinning the, uh, the rest of it as my lining okay so once I'm done pinning it um, you can to see so this is how it's look like now okay so um, we're going to head back to the sewing machine I'm going to go to the sewing machine to join to join them okay so this is the lining I'm going to be joining them with 0 0.5 inch both the front and the back lining okay so I will be back so I have done join the lining okay I have also give it a very good price so what I'm going to do next now is to join the front and the back piece of the lining together okay it's only the lining that you're going to be stitching it the way you see me stitching like this okay but the main piece we are going to be attaching the ruffle separately okay so now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and then I'm going to join this shoulder okay I'm going to be joining the shoulder with 0 0.5 only the shoulder not the rest of the body okay all right so I have done joined the shoulder okay and also I'm ironing it this is the best part you need to do for this cloth okay to have everything need you need to iron okay iron should be your best friend at this point okay so uh after joining the lining so i'm going to take the measurement so I'm, i have from the beginning to the shoulder i have 15 times 2 that is 30 so that 30 i'm going to be cutting my ruffles 30 multiplied by 2 okay so i'm going to be having uh at least 16 but i cut mine uh 72 so yeah so let's move back to the front piece okay this is the main piece now we are going to be working on the main piece okay so i'm going to be first of all i'm going to be joining the front and the back piece first so i'm joining it from the shoulder okay so that uh i can be able to place my ruffles so we are going to be joining the the back and the front piece together this is the main piece i'm working with okay we have done i have done with the lining so this is the main piece please don't mess it up okay this is the main piece so i'm going to place my front piece to the back piece like you see me doing and then i'm going to pin it so that i can go back to my sewing machine and join this part so like i said this cloth i'm making is the first time i'm making it okay you know when you're making something for the first time you really don't know what's next to be follow unless you have to crack yourself up to get to the the actual thing so i have done join the shoulder okay i have done join the both shoulder that is the both front and the back piece together okay this is how it is so i have done join it so it's time for me now to prepare my ruffles okay so when you're going to join it you're not going to join your ruffles to the uh to the wrong side you're joining it to the right side okay so this is what you're going to do you're going to spread it like this and your ruffles is going to come all the way to this point okay so that is where your ruffles is going to be so i have gone ahead to cut out my ruffles uh i have gone ahead to cut out my pieces that i'm going to be using for my ruffles okay and i've also prepared one of it off camera but i'm going to be showing you how i did that to this one okay so the total weight i have here is 3.5 inches and i've also fold in one side okay the one of the rough side i've already folded the part that is not going to be joining to the fabric okay meanwhile the part that is going to be joining to the fabric you're going to be taking a 0 0.5 inch to join it to the fabric so what i'm doing right now i fold the material into two the pieces into two so that i can have whatever thing i'm going to do for the other edges is going to also um uh reflect to this the second side okay so that is why you need to fold it so that you have accurate line so i mark 12 inches from that part okay and then i mark the midpoint so that i can be able to take my allowances so i mark 0 0.5 inch on both side from that part okay 
and then i'm going to place my french curve ruler like so and then i'm going to connect it from the part where i marked 1.5 inch to me to the part where i marked 12 inches okay so please don't skip this part if you really want to achieve the exact look that you saw on the screen or the video you saw before now follow this step okay so once i'm done i'm going to trim this excess out okay just like you see me doing and then once i'm done i'm going to go to my weaving machine i'm going to weave one side and then that part that i weave i'm going to fold it with 0 0.5 inch inside okay so as you can see i have done uh preparing that i have weave it okay i have weaved this part and um this is how it is i use my hemming gum to fold it in if you want to have a clean finish from the inside okay from the outside rather don't stitch it okay use your hemming gum so to confirm the width is 3.5 inch plus the 0 0.5 inch that i, I fold in okay that is four inches in total then from the edge here is uh is three inches so when you minus 0 0.5 inch you're going to have uh, uh two inches in remaining all right so the next thing i'm going to be taking the length of this strap so that you can understand exactly what i mean so i actually i cut at uh, 70 uh, 72 inches but i later reduced it to 64 okay so once i'm done i went to the sewing machine to make a loose stitch so that i can create a ruffles that ruffles okay so that is what you're going to do so this is my ruffles i have done uh arrange everything so i'm going to repeat the same thing on the second uh, uh the, on the second one so here is my front piece so we are back again to the front piece you are not going to turn your ruffles to the wrong side okay your ruffles is going to be placed on the right side from this part where i'm touching okay so before you join it you're going to mark 0 0.5 inch inward the way you see me doing okay because that is where your ruffles is going to stop mark 0 0.5 inch both the front and the back because that ruffle is going to connect from the front to the back and you need that 0 0.5 inch to join your your band okay so once i'm done taking my measurement and i my ruffles are ready i'm going to place it like this okay place the part that that you fold in like the part where i weave okay it's going to be facing up that is the wrong side this part is going to be facing up and uh, the right side is going to be facing to the right side of my fabric and uh, i'm trying to follow up exactly what i saw on the picture so by doing that from the beginning of, of the strap you're not going to make ruffles all the way to the edge okay you're going to make uh, as you can see the ruffles did not get to the edge so just i'm just trying to <laughs> get exactly what i ordered was uh, what i got okay so yeah that is why i try to pay attention to some details that matters so once i pinned from the other side i also return it back to the 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 front side to pin it so that i can have all the ruffles aligned proper okay so when you're working on this you need to pay close attention to all the details okay so this is what i did for the other side okay as you can see everything is looking nice and well arranged okay so yeah so the same thing now i'm going to be doing to the second one now okay so pay attention to the details of the clothes or whatever style that somebody brought to you don't just rush it okay so i try to follow up exactly what i saw though mine has a little bit uh issue because of the chest line was too much because i didn't know the actual measurement to take for the first place but now that i know i'm going to do something else in next time and I'm, i will correct it so that is why i'm letting you know now so i have done arranging everything okay i have done pin the ruffle to the the front piece so i forgot actually i forgot to join this very one okay like i said 
it's my first time. I didn't know what to do next. So I forgot to join these pieces. So now I'm arranging it so I can go back and join the shoulder. So these are the shoulder, okay? So I'm going to pick it up like you see me doing, okay? And go back to my sewing machine to join them. So I have joined the shoulder back. So now I can now place it on the, 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 the main piece or the second piece so that I can stitch. Yeah, so that I can stitch it close. So please pay attention here you're going to place the shoulder to the shoulder okay um and don't mistakenly place the front to the to the back okay just the way you see me doing so i'm going to place it like that and i'm going to pin it all the way to the to the other side like from the front to the back okay because if you do not pin it down when you are going to join it in the sewing machine is not going to be stable and if you if you do that that means you want the it's not going to align so for you to have it aligned together make sure you pin your pieces okay so as you can see i'm struggling <laughs> i'm really really struggling to face the uh, to pin it down so that is what you should do so while i'm editing it i thought it's something i would do it on uh, the whole of the video but i'm thinking it's going to be too long okay so i'm going to be separating this video into three so um, this is the the second one so the last part is going to be the the skirt part okay but for now please pay attention on this this is very 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 important this particular section is very very important so once you're done pin it okay once you're done pin this part up like this okay as you can see it's all arranged proper okay then you're going to fold in like you see me doing okay so you're going to uh go back to the sewing machine and join them with 0 0.5 inch allowance okay so that is what we're going to do so i'm on the sewing machine now and uh, we're going to start by joining the piece okay we're going to start by joining it so that we can move ahead to the second uh, step i hope you understand my explanation because i'm trying so hard here to make sure i explain it proper i hope you you are catching up if you find anything confusing please don't hesitate to leave your comment below and uh, if you didn't get me on time reach me out on my instagram account i will definitely reply you okay so reach me out let me know if it's something i will call you on the instagram and uh, we talk over it i'll help you explain more because i still feel like i'm not giving more explanation but i'm still going to try my possible best for you to uh understand this okay so i have done join this okay i also done join the other part of camera okay and i've also gone ahead to uh finish the other part of camera so this is the last part i'm going to be showing you what i did okay so you see this part where i'm touching okay you're going to uh turn it the way you see me doing okay so you're going to arrange it proper make sure you arrange it proper now it's time that we're going to bring our lining okay remember i said that we have lining right the the dress has lining so this is the lining that we prepare before okay so i'm going to get my lining the right side facing the right side okay so don't make mistake by placing the wrong side facing the right side okay so you're going to pick up this from the shoulder that is the part that you're going to use for the guideline okay this part is going to be inside the ruffles is going to be inside meanwhile the the lining and the main piece is going to be the outer okay so you're going to place the shoulder to shoulder also from the other side the way you see me working on okay and then you're going to pin it make sure the ruffles are all inside okay from the armhole side you know the dress doesn't have sleeves so that is why we need this uh lining to to uh to 
close down our the rough stitching from the from the armhole okay so once i'm done uh pinning i'm going to go to my sewing machine now to join it all round with 0 0.5 inch you're not going to close the um, the front and the back uh part okay it's only the side okay so please pay attention and see where i'm stitching okay i'm going to be stitching it all round except the 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 front and the back opening because that that part is is need to be open so that we can turn our piece to the right side okay so take your time don't rush this part okay when you're working on it uh, be sure you you have a clean finish okay so once i'm done um i'm back to my ironing table okay so i'm going to be trimming off all the all the rough edges like the part where i stitch since you're going to turn it inside i i didn't um like i didn't uh, notch it i just trim off all the the excess uh allowance that was there where i stitch okay so once i'm done turning it out i'm going to iron this proper like i'm going to give it a very good press okay so i'm going to give it a very good press and uh yeah i will prepare it for the next uh step so i'm going to be stopping here so the next tutorial is going to be the joining of the band and uh, the skirt together okay and as you can see we did not sh i didn't show you the cutting of the skirt so we are going to do that on the next tutorial okay